When I first heard that Bethany stood up, I cried. I was just so thrilled for her because um, we were all told that would never happen again. Um, I actually didn't tell my doctor about it because I thought he'd think I'm weird, especially before I saw like any results from it or anything. I was like, he's just going to think I'm weird. Then he was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is so amazing. This is crazy. This is wow. And I told him, uh, and then he was like, okay, all right, just keep doing it. <laughs> The story itself was just beautiful, inspiring, and it gives us hope uh, for even greater potential with diet changes than we even thought before. But these are not accidents, these are not miracles. We have the science that makes it very clear. I mean, our body has this amazing ability to rejuvenate and to repair I and mean, regenerate. It's interesting when you look at the way our medical system treats chronic disease. Generally, it's with medication and surgery, and there never has been surgery that has ever proven successful in reversing a diet and lifestyle-induced disease. In, in, in modern medicine, because drugs are so deadly, because surgery is so deadly, because doctors, me, kill 146,000 Americans every year, Doctors are the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. The only thing that has ever been proven to reverse diet and lifestyle induced diseases is very aggressive diet and lifestyle changes, period. This research that uh, Dr. Spindler, 2001, published in, uh, I believe it was uh, Science Magazine, powerful research, you know, uh, tells us something really important. Is, is that you actually can reverse aging. Not that you can just live longer. That's good. We already knew that. But now what we're seeing is something dramatically different. You could actually reverse the aging process. And that's what we're seeing with live foods. That's why it's so powerful. That's why we get such great healing with it. It is the foundation for all healing. Let thy food be thy medicine. You see, you say, okay, well, fine, but why don't doctors at least know this information? Well, it's because doctors were never taught this information. The average medical school get about three hours of nutrition training out of thousands of hours of preclinical instruction. Yet, people continue to go to doctors for advice about healthy eating habits, and what their doctor is telling them is killing them. Well, I think things are changing. I think more and more doctors are realizing that food plays a role, and, and not just a small role sometimes decisive role in health, either for ill or for good. A lot of people have had very serious conditions that they didn't realize and their doctors didn't realize were caused by the foods they're eating. She had instinct. Most adults, as we mature, wouldn't have instinct. We'd be so intellectually staggered, we'd probably keep going to doctors even though what we were seeing didn't work. She took responsibility because of her youthful, enthusiastic, instinctual understanding. And because of that, she ate food. Now what is more basic than eating food? My God, if we don't eat food long enough, we die. Does that mean most of us on diets like the American and Western diet are partially dying? The answer is yes. What I want people to understand and recognize is the power that is within themselves to heal their body simply by making choices that are different than the choices they're making now, simply by choosing to eat more healthful foods. If you look at the population overall, frankly, we are in the worst shape we've ever been. People are heavier than they've ever been, there's more need for medical care than there's ever been, and it's a big, big problem. But within that, the, the number of people who are saying, wait a minute, I want a better way. I want to feed myself better, I want to feed my kids better. That group is bigger than ever before. Um, I hope that people will watch this who are really suffering and are in a bad place in their life and they'll know that there's another way out and you don't have to just always look, be looking for synthetic options and there's, there's more out there that's alive and it's right there. It's what we live in like every day. The body wants to heal itself. The body wants to heal itself. Now is this diet for everybody? No. Why isn't it for everybody? Because to heal, you gotta love yourself enough to want to heal yourself. Not everybody's ready to do that. And so, give it a try. And, and then, if we actually saw the same kind of amazing results, think of what we could do. What if one person has that same transformation? How much is that worth, right? In terms of 
any amount of time and resources. And I mean, imagine that, what that would do. And then every person they, you know, experience in their entire lives, every one they affect, and they have this tremendous ripple effect and put really kind of a human face on, uh, on the transformative effects of diet.